But we should go, because we have things to do. Oh, wait, Florence. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I'm, uh, thank you very much for the nice tea. Florence, you're brilliant. I just need your help for a second. What the heck do you need? I mean, I what? Need, I need you to, like, magic the air. Smell the air, or whatever it is you see elf wizards do. And tell me what kind of surveillance they have going on in this place. In this specific room. Uh, it's magic of some kind. I don't know what kind, though. There's lots of magic all over the fucking place. There's a dragon head over there. I don't know if you've noticed. Some of the teeth are loose. Uh, and Florence looks at my uh, the bow drawn and says, Well, this is not fun. Ah, uh, boy. Frankly, I'm not surprised. But, okay, there's a... Does she know at least that there would be some spells that would be able to do that? Um, yeah, she should be fairly knowledgeable. I mean, she does study in the arts. Just because she doesn't know a spell doesn't mean she doesn't know of a spell. I'm just... Can I roll a arcana and see yeah. what she would know up to the point? Yeah. Can, can you do that with advantage? Because I told you about it. As well as... Well... As much as uh, the pseudo dragons enjoying the fact that he's be uh, being spoiled, he's probably listening to this conversation. Well, minus the most. I am fine. Hello. <laughs> well then. Twenty six. Nat twenty. Nice. Very nice. So she has a hell of a good ally deal. Doesn't so what? What is the name of the spell? Uh, Axel, let, let me get it from Axel before we actually assume, because I can think of a few spells, but I'm going to let him go first. So, one of the big spells that has a continuous cast on there is Detect Magic. It's, mm. it's a spell that's routed through the floor, actually, so the entire room is under a Detect Magic spell at all times. Okay. Basically glyphed onto the floor. You also have uh identify which is also running as a kind of area spell as opposed to it it is touch but it's running all the way through the floors and the sides so anything you touch in the room will identify what it touches okay and which i think those are basically level one spells oh yeah they're they're these are you know they're not going to waste a level nine spell on every room it's not it's not realistic yeah, no, I know. I know. Uh, That's they... why you just, like, abuse the fuck out of Maximize and just cast a level 9 spell on an entire area. I mean, yeah, but you gotta remember, these are continuous area spells. In which, uh, Florence does give it a w good Whereas most break. divination spells are about 10 minutes to an hour in length. Is that it? Is it just identify and detect magic? No. Yeah, these are... Those are two. You also have C invisibility, which is yeah. basically cast on the whole room, so you actually all possess C invisibility. Yeah. Oh, cool. Is there anything invisible? No. You would have seen it. Oh. <laughs> no, you would have seen it, so you wouldn't know it was invisible. Yep. You would have seen it. What is invisible? It's kind of it just renders invisibility mute. There's no point at all. Okay, okay. Uh, the other thing that is in here, uh, she notices, but it is not an area spell. The couch has tongues passed on it. Weird! No, Weird! No, 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 let's go with that! No, 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 I can explain what the hell that spell is. Pretty much, yeah. it's pretty much... No, it's not that. No, 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 oh no. I know exactly what the spell tongues does, but I was making the joke. I know. Life. You are so you know if she if Carly hypothetically sat on that couch. <gasps> Carly gets on the couch. 
Oh my gosh, don't you dare jiggle it. Mike! Hi, Mike! Mike. I thought the couch had tongues on it. Is he... <laughs> is he on the couch? It's a double entendre for this one. So it has tongues, but it's a specific alteration that he has to be sitting on the couch with you. Mike, come here, come here, come here, come here. Mike. So Mike goes to sit on the couch. Hi, Mike. Hello, fair angel of darkness. <laughs> oh. I give Mike a hug. Why, thank you. I appreciate physical interaction with meat creatures. Of course you do, you lonely bastard. <laughs> How would you know? You are not a warm meat creature. Also, you're a wizard. Does your thing even work? Or a wizard? You're a you're a mummy. Does your thing even work? Oh, no, that's funny. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> Rough. That's like that's a question we haven't really explored. Oh, <laughs> the answer is before no, yes now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, okay, anything okay, else? Okay. Added... I thought I was flicking skin off of him. I mean, you were. Ew. Yeah. Ew. Well, yeah. But to be fair, he's still dead. Technically. Anyway, did anything else that uh, Florence can identify? Uh, it is not surveillance magic, but you notice two large forms of magic in the room that basically outclass everything else. What is it? Uh, one comes from you. One comes from the table. For me. Ooh. Unless you got rid of it. it. I didn't think you had gotten rid of it yet. I still have my cards. Yeah, that's it. Cards. It is a high-level magic you. item. There's oh, very... there's, there's not actually a way for them to look at us, then. Not that you can tell, no. It doesn't look like they're looking at you. They're not using I take the, the cards and put them in my bag, and then I go over to the dragon head. So you got the other cards? Yeah. I try to take. I try to yank a couple teeth out of the back of the dragon skull. Okay. Anything interesting about that dragon? Skull? Yeah, that's when when you go to yank them out, the mouth clenches down in your arm. <laughs> <clears throat> it doesn't clench down, but it does go. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That hurt. Oh my Are you alive? Well, are you alive? Uh, Depends on who you ask. What's your name? You know, this is why we shouldn't yank people. Just, you should check before you assume. My name <laughs> is Gondorol. Gondorol? Gondorol. Gondorol. Hi, Gondorol. Why, why, why were you just in here while I was sleeping? I am in charge of watching this room, young lady. Oh, oh that's an image. I was napping. I, I, you were napping. You didn't see anything then? What was there to see? Nothing. I think you need to make a deception roll. Okay. Meanwhile, <laughs> <laughs> Lauren is just quietly wa uh, looking at the dragon egg. Mike <laughs> just says... <laughs> Gondrel's always sleeping. Quick question. Um, what kind of dragon, a dragon head is it? If so, now? I believe this guy to be... I'm trying to make sure the sizes are correlating correctly. I believe him to be a... adult... copper dragon? Oh. Oh my god. But it's just his um, head, so... A dirty 20? Oh, nice. Good job. I don't know what his Thank bonuses you. are, so give me a moment. Or a carpet dragon? An adult one? Ooh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Do you want me to look it up, or just one that you... I'll leave that to you. I'm... Right now I'm on red. I need to switch to copper. Uh... Uh... Do you want me to look it up quickly? Uh, that's fine. Uh... Okay. What I'm looking for is... It's... Intuition, but I don't think it's proficient in intuition. Oh, no, so it would just be a straight wisdom. Stats. 
Uh, there we it go. would be a plus two for the wisdom. Oh. It's a little suspicious of you. To, uh, to, I smile. To, uh, he's like, I, uh, I don't know. I feel like there's something well, off in I the mean... room. Would you? Would you lie to me, young lady? Whose name I don't know. I huff and put the cards back on the table. It's a wise And I decision. powder battle. Those cards are far more dangerous than you know. I wasn't going to use them. You'd come back eventually. That's the thing. That deck doesn't give you a choice. What? You, you know, her? you know not what you deal with, young mortal. Oh, I hardly ever do. I was, uh, Florence kind of sighs and says, "You know, I would tell you tell you that you're wasting your breath, but I think it's, you've heard, you've been listening to this bickering between these two. I was actually sleeping quite soundly until she pulled my teeth." Listen, I'm sorry, I thought you were just like a stuffed head. I thought you were a decorative piece. So you were going to desecrate my corpse? Oh. No, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I was just gonna, like, some of your teeth were falling out, and so I was trying to help you. She's lying. She's not actually, or else I, he, I would make her make a rule. I would not lie to a dragon. That's that is a lie, but that's fine. She's not lying to the dragon, so <laughs> that is a lie because you just did. <laughs> I did just do that, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, I would never Lawrence lie to a dragon. Lawrence is just gonna sit on that couch and just quietly just watch the exchange between these two. Like she's just like, you know what? I'm safer over here, just in case. Um, at which point you hear a knocking on your door. Hi? Hello? Who's in there? I'm in here. Who's I'm? You can call me Carly. But I don't have your number. Is that my friend? Is that my friend? I real wait. Mike, go answer the door. Mike. Uh, Which it means, you know, okay. Yeah, hello, uh, hello, Mike hello. opens the door and reveals a duck and a man. Oh, and a man. Who's the man? You the man, a hey. <laughs> horrible. Uh, but Carthus walks in with Donnie. He's like, "Hello, how's everyone doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm personally great. Slept well, ate well, had sex with a sea monster. It was great. Nice. Yeah. Okay, the last lo bit I didn't need to know. Yeah, she didn't either. <laughs> what? Nothing. Anyway. Being <laughs> off once is just rolling her eyes. It's like, you know what? Anyway. I don't like Anyway, the now that my <laughs> now that my brown paper bag marks have gone. I feel fresh and rested and ready to take on the day. Being off once. Gets crying. Oh. Being off oh. once is just going to kind of. Just go choke her out. No DDTs, Michael. What the fuck? <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, he comes in. He's like, "Hey, everybody! I hope you got a good sleep." Oh, hey, look who's this? Who done woke up? Uh, this is this is Gondrel. Tongue out at you. Stick my tongue out at her. Yeah, and which Lord's just like, well, it's interesting to see it. But then again, Florence is like kind of more lucky how he's positioned into the wall, really. How did you get into the wall? She kind of asks, like idly. Can you get out of the wall? That's my next question. That is a good question. Next question. Oh, so, I was actually transformed into this room. 
Well, at least my body I... was. My head remained my head. Sorry, so... <laughs> I didn't switch voices. Why, yes. <laughs> Did I sleep in your in your body? Why, yes. <laughs> Essentially, that's morbid to think about the more you think about what it. part of your body what, what part of your body oh my chest cavity although technically i mean it could be whatever so let me get this straight they possibly polymorphed you into this yeah. and then donned you with a lot of magic and that's how they made the room yeah. well how they did it was they used a customized polymorphing spell to turn me into this room and leave my head as a watcher and then they use the wish spell to make the polymorph permanent i mean there is true polymorph but that that a character in forms would not know well he's also a dragon <laughs> yeah, true polymorph is is a bit hit it, but... did you did you consent to it well I made a sizable gamble and oh. lost. I see. And thus, I have been conscripted to be a room for the next few centuries. So, like, can I have a tooth or. No, I like my teeth. I would very much like to keep him when I become a real dragon again. Lord's gonna look at Carly in disbelief. Rude, how would you feel like someone asked you that? What do you give me for it? That's all you hear is just quack. And I, I mean, I would say, What do you give me for it? What about a scale? Lauren, do you have a scale? Uh, Lauren's lost eyes. Yet, no. Meanwhile, Donnie, uh, Hurries over to the couch and sits on it. Quick question: When he quacked, did he understand anything that was said to the quack? For some reason, no. What the fuck? I go and sit on the couch too, but I'm pouting the whole way. Just a single scale. I mean, I uh, and Donnie from. quacks, and it, and nothing happens. I'm sitting on the chair on the yep, couch. Uh, it, yeah, I know. Yeah, no, no, you're not know. incorrect. Yeah, I just, Florence, it was just the way. Yep, no, she yeah, because she still has her uh, translation spell up. Donnie looks pretty flustered and uh, and unhappy about this fact. Uh, don't feel bad. He proceeds to kick Karis in the shit. Karis <laughs> in the shin. Oh fucking Donnie! God damn it! They hurt. I keep telling you, you don't speak duck. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. But it is not duck. I don't even think it's a language, Donnie. Uh, not one with a written, written, coherent meaning. Yeah. I think he language. mostly, he works like, you know, uh, like in feelings. Because, I mean, right now, uh, just probably... How much time has passed, by the way, out of character? Yeah, maybe like 20 minutes. Your spell is definitely still active. Okay, so the floor is kind of briefly breathes that up. Just to make it feel better. So yeah. it's just like, yeah, so I don't think has a record right. to it. But... Donnie insists that he speaks the highest form of language ever invented, and that we are all fools for saying otherwise. But I still say it's not duck. I don't think it is. It has a written language according to it. Right. Donnie says writing is for nerds. Yeah, I don't think duck is a written language either. Right. Yeah. Well, actually, it is a very nice written language. Quite hard to understand. Mostly, mostly done in poop. I can see that. Yeah. Lawrence is just finally just sitting closer to towards the uh, dragon. Well, um, it was nice meeting you. And I. A pleasure as well, young magic user. Yeah, usually as long as they avoid doing that, it's very pleasurable. In fact, I just quite like, like being a room. Just one scale. No, oh, leave me alone. I mean, I get where where they're coming from with it. I mean, it uh, would be 
Leave me alone, or I will... I don't know, sneeze. Not a lot of room in here. If you sneeze, does, like, the room contract a little bit? Yes. <laughs> okay, fun. Fun, fun. Okay. Read all floors. It's just like, I understand where that's coming. I must go. I understand it's expensive and hacky, but I wouldn't see it. But at the same token, I would rather not be like a dragon. I don't think I would like to do it to a dragon that is very much alive. Probably will be still living at the same time I'm dead. <laughs> oh, he'll definitely still be a room when I'm dead. So I don't care. That was nice to know that. Um, so, like, is the room cool with this? Is, is Godral cool with what we're going to be talking about when... Catharsis is ready to talk to translate for us. Quack. Donny Donny goes over. He looks at uh, he looks at Guandrol and says, "Quack." And uh, the dragon's head just droops all the way to the ground. Can I try to get a scale? Oh my! God. I mean, that's up to you. Lawrence kind of looks looks at Carly. Donny looks Carly. back. He says. Quack. What did you just do? Bonnie says that he has the ability to put dragons to sleep. Oh. He says that it is his seventh superpower. Can I? No, I'm not. Okay, my fun's over. My fun's over. I'm ready to talk about your whole bank heist. I had the best idea while I was sleeping. Uh, and this is where Florence says, you know what? And this is where I kind of take my cue. I mage hand. I put a mage hand on the door knob. What? Quack. So you can't, you can't like grab the door knob. Lawrence kind of looks at Carly. He's like, what? Tony, Tony requests that you at least stay in the room until we are finished speaking, so that what we say is not leaked outside. He offers you light music as recompense. But I'm, you know, my answer has not changed. Yes, we we understand. It's all good. You can talk with Mike. Yes, yes. I Mike. Yeah. So I had the best idea while I was sleeping, you guys. Okay, so what is there like an employee who's just a giant dick? You mean Keith? Is he like a dickhead? Is he a bad man? Quack. Tony says. I don't see duck, Donnie. Tony says he doesn't work here. He doesn't know. He says everyone's a dick, why, though. Why are you putting input on this conversation then? Ooh. Okay. So I had two good ideas. Okay. So we need to first find out if there's also like a really dickhead employee. And then we can make a complaint against him with the head of HR, with the director of HR, you know, the one we have to steal the code from. But since there's so many of us, it'll be really hard for her to keep all of us in, in eyesight so we can try to steal her card. And since I'm super duper stealthy, I can probably just try to steal it right in front of her nose. Quack. Donnie says this could work. Mm-hmm. I feel like on like a scale of one to ten, my sleight of hand is like a seven. Right. Tony says he doesn't believe in normative nominal valuations of skill. But if that's how you feel, feel, he trusts good. you. Awesome. I love being trusted. By some people, I look at Florence. She's currently, my second idea. She's I'm currently in deep with... conversation with Mike. <laughs> And Florence stops, uh, pauses, and looks over, and just like, okay, I'm not, I didn't say I didn't trust you. I mean, I, I mean, I didn't leave you guys senseless. My second idea is to take Mummy Wedge over here and see if they can give him anything to make him not a mummy anymore. 
Because they gave me all this cool stuff. Whack. Uh, Donnie says that they're not usually big on giving. But they gave me a bunch of this cool stuff. Well, the, the thieves gave you that. Well, let's talk to the thieves. Well, they're going to want us to do things in return. Like what? I'm not sure. We've got to ask them. We're already doing their fucking heist. What more do they want from us? Let's go ask them. Well, we can. Although I will say the plan's currently in the runs for everybody. And our time yeah, limit is... Because it currently is probably, what, 4 in the morning now? Maybe maybe 4.30. Probably about 4 if we woke up at 3.30. 4, 4.15, 4.30-ish, yeah. Which means you now have 12 hours, basically, to complete your heist. And... Uh, and 12 hours until Florence leaves. Also, Florence kind of pipes up at, at hearing a noise. Um, do you guys hear that? I listen. Do I hear anything? With your passive? No. I said I listen. Did you roll? Did I roll? <laughs> oh my god. No, I did not. The perception. It's been dirty funny. Uh, you actually don't hear anything. I don't hear anything, Florence. Okay. Uh, since you guys don't trust me, I'm just gonna mind my own. Mind. Oh no, I trust you. I'm, I'm saying I don't hear it. What do you hear? Uh, uh, humming. Very light humming. From something. Very much something that sounds like a light humming. Does and, anyone else hear a humming? Um, actually, Ursul kind of climbs around to see if she can pinpoint the humming. And I'm guessing Axe is going to want a um, perception check for that. Mike! Here, Mike, come sit beside me so we can understand what you're saying. Um, he says he does not hear anything either. She kind of uh, I, uh, offhandly um, translates. Hmm. Do I believe her? You can insight her. She's not bullshitting. I'm insighting. There you go. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> I mean, she's not lying. You can uh, shoot. I mean, she's just like, I, I don't know, man. I don't think she's lying. I don't, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. But, um, but anyway, just. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, okay. Um, so should we go then? We'll save the. We'll save the looking for a body for him for later. I love it because yeah, no go. one has at all explained to Wedge what's going on. Oh, yeah. Not even a little bit. Yeah, no. They, uh, even uh, Florence. I, was just, I just was waiting. I was like, maybe they'll go over the plan. She'll, you know, she'll go no. back over it. I know we did a little at the start of the session, but. No, I mean, Florence didn't didn't want to be part of it, so she's not going to be the one trying to explain it. So does Wedge look confused? Wedge looks vacant. Vacant? Vacant. Like vacation. Vacant. You know, hmm. vacant, not there, empty. Vacant, vacant. Okay. Uh, okay. He's fine. He'll just follow my lead. I mean, he's doing what he wants. Yeah. To be fair, he doesn't have no regrets. No, reg no ragrets. No ragrets. <laughs> okay, so should we go? Let's go. I give one last soulful look to the scales on the dragon, but then I walk out the door. 
I'm still listening for Florence's humming because I think she's gone a little crazy. Can I listen again for the humming? Sure. I'll be right back. Um, that's an eight. I'm gonna go with no. Meanwhile, Florence is genuinely confused of what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I plant seeds in the grass just to watch them bloom in May and April. Okay, can she get an idea of what the hell is going on? Anything? Like, what the because uh, you can make, I guess, an investigation check? I don't know what this would be. Like a wisdom check, maybe? To just kind of piece together what's going on as best you can? Okay. Wisdom check. Okay. <clears throat> maybe take, take yeah. the... Maybe take the, uh, um, uh... Advantage on that, baby, with Ursul. Okay. All right. <laughs> that would be my suggestion there. There you go. Much better. Ooh. Bye bye. Once the others follow me out into the into the main area of the casino, I say, I think I, I'm thinking white today. What do you think? White? Maybe a white. Maybe white. And I make my dress white. <laughs> white. You're Got dressing a cold in... shoulder thing going on. It looks awesome. Nice. Very awesome. I I'm all for it. This is the best thing you could have given me, Axel. Oh, I for a bard, it's a very nice. Oh, I, yeah. I hope you like it. <laughs> I know how I to like and, and the fact that that uh, Florence suggested it was the crazier part. I love it. There's a reason why I, mo I made the mom joke for five seconds. Like twice, I've made that joke, and it's worth it. You picked out a good outfit for, or a good, uh, yeah, a good outfit for me, because this is armor. Indeed. Plus, my AC was 14, now it's 16. There you go. Which you're gonna uh, need. So, it's, does she, thanks to that lovely little bit, does she realize it has to do with something magic related? Uh, she thinks it has something to do with the connection between her and Ursula. How exactly? You're not sure. Is there any way she could, you know, leave the room and see if it could persist after she grabs her thing? I mean, yeah, you can leave and check if it, uh, if it stays around. Mm -hmm. I mean, she'll grab her things, probably affectionately pat the um dragon on the head, like good, good night. And then just kindly leave. Okay. Once she leaves the room, does it consi uh, persist? Yes, it does. Okay, so... She kind of looks back at the room and realizes it probably was not the room, but... And she do a, um, Arcana check? See what the heck is going on? Can, can I, can I see Florence looking outside try. the, looking around outside the room, and I was like, what are you looking for? And then hopefully Florence will explain it to me, and I can help her for advantage. You definitely try those things. Yes. I do those things. And you as well. Uh, Florence may also try to use Arcana to determine what exactly is happening to her. Meanwhile, Don Donnie just looks like the fuck, and Katharis looks over at Wedge, and he's like, hey, you look different 
than when I saw you last. Did you get a tan or something? I don't think he's back yet. Oh. We'll do that in a second. But it's still Welcome. canon. Yes, and with Forbes, it's just after she... What did she get from that 12? Uh, oh, as best you can determine, it has to have something to do with the fact them being, like, telepathically bonded. But is it, like, an annoying buzzing noise? Or is not it... necessarily. I mean, it's not, like, one of those really annoying ones. It's almost kind of pleasant, but it's also a little creepy. Because nothing usually goes on there except for you two talking. Lawrence does try to explain it to the best of ability to Carly, in which she's just like, I don't know, and I can't make heads or tails. Trust me, I've tried. I left the room, and I clearly still persist. Hmm. Do I know anything about that? I mean, what was your role again? What do I roll? I didn't roll anything. Hmm. I don't know if you can. I guess perception, but or arcana, since she's trying to figure that out. But I don't know if you can really help with this one. Yeah. Even I, even with the advantage of Lawrence putting her head together. With... Yeah, that was an unlucky one. I rolled one. a two. I rolled a two. <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't know. I'm helping. Uh, I'm... I'm helping. It's just like I'm putting my my hands on my, my two fingers on my temples. This is basically like really you. Hard. It's it's like giving someone a thumbs up. <laughs> In which Florence kind of stare. Both of them kind of look at Carly and just like Lawrence is kind of like um what? Kind of tilts her head like what? Like I'm sorry. What what am I? Thumbs up for. What? I'm helping you thinking. I'm helping you think. Okay. Um. And Florence kind of doesn't know where to go for the rest. You know. Yeah, I have no idea. I got nothing for you, hun. Yeah, no, it's understandable. But look at my pretty dress. It's so pretty. Yeah, you're having fun with that. I am. Well, it's a good thing I gave you a suggestion on an armor set that benefits your particular set of qualities my particular set of qualities yes you can just say boobs it's okay no i was saying i mean it works with the whole fact that you're a performer and you need constant outfits you know on the go travel on the go on the road go. oh it's true i do yeah i do any user. So I look for the Sphinx again because that that was the nice guy last time. Relatively, yeah. A relatively nice guy. He gave me all this stuff. Yeah, after a little bit, but yeah. Hey, I found the actual sleeping rooms are like over here on this other end. <laughs> there are actual beds in there. Yeah, don't worry about <laughs> those ones. Those are the peasants' quarters. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I look for the Sphinx again. Uh, I mean, he's, uh, he's still chilling here. Really? Hello. Bob. Bob, hi. Hi. Um, so is there, like, a really dickhead employee? Like, a just complete dick? That everybody hates? You talking about Keith? Keith, huh? What's his, do you know his, like, what he looks like? Yeah. I do. What's he look like? Well... Ugly. Ugly. He's ugly. Okay. Any, like, any other descriptions? Descriptions? Or just he's ugly? He's pretty ugly. But, really I mean... Ugly. It, it's tough to explain. I don't like to look at him for a long period of time. Fair. 
fair. What's his What's his job? What does he do? Oh yeah, he cleans shit. Clean shit. Got it. Yeah. Like any shit okay. in the facilities, he's in charge of cleaning it. So would he have interaction with like the general casino population? Mm, rarely. He usually is tried to keep out of general sight. Okay. Where would he have been about say fifteen, twenty minutes ago? Hmm. If I had to guess, fifteen to twenty minutes ago, he would have been near the Middle North ship on his way to go and clean the poop out of Carlos's uh poop areas. Clean the clean the poop out of Carlos's areas. Yeah. Okay. Don't ask me why, but it's an inside job. It's not I don't understand their reasoning. Mm -hmm. You know how big a toilet right. for a kraken has to be. Yeah, I can imagine. Now, where is where would I be able to find HR? I want to find specifically um the I'm gonna full care in this. Uh, first first thing I say, thanks a lot, Bob. Thanks a lot, Bob. You're, oh, you're, you're a real help. You will. And then I lead my merry band of travelers out to the mid front sh or the the mid top ship area, kind of like right around right around here ish. Can you do that one more time? Right around here ish. Okay. And. I have my room interlocked with Florence's, so she can't go anywhere. <laughs> Wait, why <laughs> are you dragging me along? Florence is like, what the fuck did I do? <sighs> I put it in, but I'm not, you know, I'm not staying here for this. You know this, right? I put my hands on Florence's face, and I say, Florence, my darling sea elf. You're my yeah. friend now, so you're stuck with me. I didn't have, I don't think I had a written choice to be stuck with you, dear. Correct. You showed me an ounce of human kindness. Now you're, now you're my friend, and you're stuck with me. No, no, I do. I mean, I seriously do not use that line on me. Wow. Seriously. An ounce of human kindness. Oh. You Come on. Uh, but you're I my friend now. No, no, no. You do realize I said no. Thank you for that one. This one thing. Dog, actually. But like you're my friend though. Sorry. I'm not. No, 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 no. And plus, I don't even know the details of it. You don't have to know the details. Yes, the heck I do. That's that looks amazing. Dean, is, is Keith around here somewhere? Who, who are you asking? Is Keith around here somewhere? Right, but who who are you asking? Me or just... I'm asking you, DM. Oh, DM. Okay, yeah. Uh, I mean... Got it. Uh, I mean, in your general perception, no. But I also, you don't really know what Keith looks like. You did not do that. I'm looking for an ugly bastard. Fair. Fair. Meanwhile, Florence no, is just like, you know, I, I can I sit this one out? I mean, come on. <laughs> but Florence, if everything breaks bad, we need a wizard because you're a very powerful and capable wizard. And if we, without you, we will die. I need an insight check that one because there's no way you're, that is the biggest bullshit that I've heard. Roll. What'd you roll? So. I nat 20'd. You nat 20'd? Mm -hmm. For a total of? 21, but yeah. unless you nat 20'd, it would technically win. I mean, I was rolling persuasion for a 26. Like, I don't control the 20s. Okay, but was it a nat 20 or was it a dirty 20? Okay, either way, I was rolling persuasion. It was 26 for, it was, I rolled a 17, or plus 9, so 26. You can tell I'm being truthful.
because I wasn't rolling deception. I was being honest. Uh, <laughs> but it does. It's something that's very much an opinion, so it's percept. It's con contextual honesty. She can it's very much 100%. believe. It is a hundred percent Carly's belief that she will that they will all die without Florence if things break bad. <laughs> uh, at least we got Wedge back, right? We did at least get Wedge back. Do you? I mean, he's here. He's not responding to Catharsis, but he's here. Oh, Catharsis is asking me things. Yeah, uh -huh. he uh, he's like, you look different than the last time I saw you. Did you get a tan? Yes, absolutely got a tan. Looks good, man. Thanks, thanks. I'm also a little lighter. Yeah, you know, you your skin kind of looks like paper. Yeah. Don't hit me, though. It has a tendency to fall off. Oh, no. I used to have that issue. It's just in my hair. And he, he, like, ruffles his hair and dandruff comes out. It's back! Beautiful <laughs> <laughs> Florence is... What is this lovely roll con contestment? Because we have a 21 versus 26. Well, once again, she's I mean, not technically lying. Yeah, you, you, Carly is telling the 100% truth. But does, does, this begs the question, do we, what do we go with as? I don't know. I don't, Quack. I, Carly Only... is telling the truth. I, don't I know, know that. I know that. But did this argument win as the kicker here? Oh, that's up oh, to your character. Do. No matter what you guys roll, they can't make your character think something. Yeah. yeah. Your character always and has a freedom of choice unless there is a spell component involved. Yeah. Yeah, and because you rolled a nat twenty and beat me with my with my seventeen. Yeah, she can't convince you that she's lying. You just see that she tells what she is thinking is the truth. Yeah. Well, you you true. believe her. You you think she is telling the truth. Quack. Okay. All right. Look, Tony says that it is now currently 430. You guys are slow. And you guys are slow. Well, but look, we got things we got to get done. And some some of us have to be split apart for it. I mean, Bob is helping take care of some of it. And I'm, I'm helping take care of some of it. Quack. Yes, I will help. I am helpful. Quack. Shut up, Tony. I think you're very helpful. Why, thank you. Quack. Tony, you should not speak that way in front of a lady. But, um, Carly then, um... And plus, uh, you did not ask, because uh, I don't think I was here. How much of the conversation was Florence there present for, if I must ask, out of character? What conversation? Of they when they went over this plan. Well... Because I, like I know Florence clocked uh, said, nah, I'm not, after hearing the first bit of it just being a flat-out high, I know she walked away like, nah, I'm not signed. Yeah, she she doesn't know much. Then none of it. Yeah. So, to be fair, neither so, does Catharsis. So Florence, Florence, Florence is like, yeah, but I don't know the premise of this. So but, there's that. Just follow my, just follow Catharsis my, looks follow over at Wedge. He's just like, all right, so look, we're gonna steal a bunch of shit. You in? Yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? Hey, cool. Mm -hmm. I can actually help out quite a bit for that. You can. Do you want my thieves tools? Do you have any? Florence is like, can I not be in the middle of this? And plus, what, what are, where are we going to get this stuff from, anyone? Just follow my lead. No, and that's... believe me. And this is this is 100% what I need you both to do. I need you to believe me. What do am you I believing? Believe, believe you and do what? Just believe what I say from, like, now on. Just act like you believe it. And then I make my armor look like I got hit with a mop that is covered in shit. Florence is just gonna I'm, sign. You know, I'm say, not you sure know? if that's possible, but I'm gonna let it go anyway, just because I think it's funny. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
Um, do you happen to have, like, a spell that would make it, like, smell bad? Lawrence will kind of say, okay, <laughs> Lawrence look, looks at this and say, I don't, I don't Wait! Do it. Wait a minute. I have a hairpin that does something with farts. Yeah, and plus, if I remember correctly, isn't this the non-magic section? It is. It is. It is. Uh, it only works on active magic, so spells cast as opposed to items. So your items should okay. be fine. The deck of many things, for instance, also functioned just fine. So nothing like a cantrip will do shit. No. Any basically, like, spoken or activated magic is not happening here. It's a very special magic -y place, this place. I don't know what my hairpin does with farts. Oh, also, but it does technically, with the farts. area you guys are in is not because you are in the casino, but not in the gambling egg section. You're just yeah, we're the... outside. Yeah, you're just outside. Okay. So... Although, <laughs> although, big reminder: don't fly over the water without the modrons. Yeah. Meanwhile, Florence is just like, I'm not gonna say, I'm, but I'm going to believe everything you say. But how about this? I do you the favor. Of granting that request of making things smell. Wait, 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 before you do that. Mm -hmm. We need to find Vera and Odom in the bottom right. Yeah. I believe so. Bottom right. Modrons! Where's Mike? Mike! We need to go to the bottom right. I need to talk to HR now. Uh, also, Mike's spell for translation should be almost up here in a moment. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can't talk to Mike anymore after a minute? After a, it was an hour spell. Yeah, it's all, it's about 4.30 right now. Yeah. Tell and... him I love him. Oh, Mike. <laughs> Someone's got to tell him. To be fair, Mike understands you guys just fine. Mike, I love you. Mike. What does Florence hear out of this? What the heck does Florence get herself into? Florence is going to translate it, and I'm not gonna speak it. Oh, okay, she's then I'm gonna. She's translating it, whatever the heck she says. Alright. <clears throat> Thank you, my angel of darkness. You have brought joyous music and wondrous laughter to my soul with each word and passing, as well as darkness upon those who I hate. I will never oh. forget the kind words and chastising voice that you have used on me and my foes. I don't think I've chastised, but you're so nice! I may have chastised. Mike. That definitely sounds like something I would do. <laughs> anyway! We need to go to the bottom right, please. Mike. And he yells out, and of course the Modrons show up. Shame. No, Mike, no Mike, shame. Mike, good Mike. Boy. Shame, 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 Mike. Mike He's looks, a good boy. Mike looks down, but there's a glimmer of hope in his eyes. <laughs> um, well. Anyway. Yeah, Mike's Mike comes down, but there's a glimmer of hope in his eyes, and they pick you guys up and take you to the entry of the bottom right part of the casino. Oh, give me a moment. On yeah. the flight there, I make myself start to cry because I'm a bard and can do that. Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, seriously, I've, I'm dealing. I'm what dealing, is this, performance? Carly... What, what does this count under? That's the question. Deception, I guess. Perform performance. It could be performance, technically, but... I mean, it is a performance of crying on cue. Yeah, I think it'd be performance. I mean... Performance! Uh, it's nothing else I can always check. 25 total? I mean, that's pretty damn good. Check. So I'm, like, full-on just crying in the Modron's arms. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. So now we're flying. And now we're flying. And now we're flying and we're going and we're finding everything that we could do. Okay, yeah. And we're soaring. I, I have 
Okay, did you know you have toe knuckles? Yeah, of course. I didn't know that. Yeah. This is my weird middle toe. Anyway, um, because I was putting a band-aid on my toe, so that's why I said. Anyway, um, so did we make it? Did we make it? All the way over there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. And Mike sets you um, down, and the, Mo the other Modron sets you down, and they go, Mike. Shame, shame. No, no shame, no! <laughs> He's a very good boy! And I say it with my face full of tears and crying. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, what did, when you asked Florence to do that whole smelling thing, did you need it now, or? No! Okay, there we go. So, uh, <laughs> I was like... just, just a quick one, just, just in case. Uh -huh. I just uh, wanted this to be the reminder before you go in. Do you remember what exactly you need from this person? Credentials. You know. And I lean over to I lean over to Donnie and I say, "What do they look like? What are they?" Whack. Donnie says that the credentials that you need are actually. Stationary. Oh, then what the fuck are we doing here then? Why do we need the head of HR? It's they're stationary. It's, they are stationary. Yeah, it's head of HR stationary. It's like from the head oh, desk paper. of the head of HR. It's paper. Yeah. Uh, and which Florence quietly asks, "Well, they are, is she listening?" Hey, Lord, don't you know what stationary is? Are you dumb? Don't you know what? I think oh my God, a butterfly! Is. In which Lawrence kind of asks, so what's the bigger problem about getting the credentials from HR? The head of we HR? Need, we need her stationery to do some stuff. I know, but what what it, does she look like so I can give you a good idea of what the heck to look for? A demon? What? Yeah, yeah, demon. A demon. What kind? If I must ask. Cause what? That is a vast statement. A girl one. A girl one. She's also kind of a bitch, but I hear. Only Glad and Febreze don't go together. Lawrence kind of face palms. Like, how much, is, how much would Florence know of the whole subclassing for them? And I mean, shit? they're fairly arcana based. Yeah, okay. You can so always. Demons go to religion based. That's also true. Would so that be? Would that be devils or demons? So I would know a lot of stuff. Wait, do they have devils still in 5e? Yes. So which ones are the religion ones? I guess they're both are. I don't know. Yeah, so floor, uh, anyway. So like, it could be either I'm, or. I feel like I'm it. also a bard, so I feel like I would know a lot from stories. Do you... Do we... You always go for it. I'm not afraid. I'll roll. What do I roll? I have history. I'll roll history. Do it. Fuck okay, it. History. Meanwhile, Cathars looks over at uh, Michael's like, Yeah, I'm supposed to kill some guys. But that's later. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I have oh. absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. All, I know is that, all I know is that if I did want to, I could make us all a lot more sneaky for an hour. Yeah, we might want to hold out on that. Um, Axel? We'd be the opposite of sneaky is what we need right now. Well, not this second, but in a minute. Yes. Axel, you see what I rolled, right? I do. Uh, so, based on uh, what, uh, you know, Donnie translated, you were assuming he's talking about a glabrizu. Glabrizu. Or glabrezu, I guess. I don't know. Whoops. But it is a large fiend, demon, chaotic evil. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I see the ugly thing. Yee. It's an asshole. It is a little bit. However, it's great at HR. Yeah, I think I... Tiny yeah. hands for delicate situations and deadly monster claws for dropping the axe. How much, of, uh, Flor How much would Florence know about it, Cleavo? I mean, with a roll of 20, basically, the, you want... 
<laughs> and which Florence kindly sighs and says, You do. You know what? I'm gonna flip a fight. It has true sight. Oh, so it does have true sight. I was just about to ask. Okay, well, then I don't need this whole thing, do I? So then I make my dress white again. Which is a shame. It would be really hilarious. Yeah. And uh, I want you to make a, a reflex check. Me? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, which one's reflex? Is it dex? Yeah, dex. Uh, dex sorry, I mean, yes, dex dexterity. Yeah, my bad. I was... so... A saving throw? Yes, in this case. Oh, gosh, what the hell is it about to do? Fifteen? Not quite. Uh, Donnie has come up behind you and pushed you over somehow into the mud. Ah! 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 I right. Donnie says I true sight won't matter now. You! Ah! And now I'm really angry! So true mortal won't even have matter for <laughs> Black Meanwhile. Tony says he's a master planner. Oh! Meanwhile, Florence is just quietly staying away from this and just like, you know, I'm staying out of this for this obvious reason. Um, You might not want to stay out of it. I may need comforting to make the image look right. Black Tony says that it's, you're still going to have to convince people of what's going on, too. You might, uh, you might want some corroborators. What does that even mean, no. Donnie? Some asshole pushed me. I think he was really ugly. His name is Ned, I think. His name tag had a K on it. Do they have name tags? Yes, actually. <laughs> they do have name tags? Yep. <laughs> and they are fully uh, translatable into every language. That is, you know. All right. Written. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Get ready to comfort me and be my collaborator. Some asshole pushed me in the mud and he was really fucking ugly. Black Donnie says good luck. He has to stay out here. Okay. I take a deep breath. I center myself. And, and then I go in and I say some asshole! Where is HR? I need to make a complaint right now! And I just have tears strolling down my face. Uh, you have one of the uh, workers come up to you. They, they say, oh my goodness, miss, what's wrong? How, how can I help you? Some asshole pushed me over on my way here, and now I'm covered in mud, and I want him to pay. Where is HR? Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Miss, but those even, the, the, those complaints, I don't you even know, talk. what? Those complaints are usually given to the authorities if it was done by a by a customer. I apologize. I will we will find it, him, and he will be punished. It was some asshole. He had this name tag on. I think he worked here. He was really fucking ugly. Well, I, I'm sure we can figure this out without involving HR, man. There's no need to file for No, no. No, no. I'm going to the top with this one. I want to talk to the head of HR. Not even just some, like, mid-level middle manager. I want to talk to the head of HR. Whoever runs this place is going to hear what I have to say. Okay, so uh, the only you technically told two lies there. Oh, did I? Uh... The guy with the K. Guy with that K word, I guess that would be the same line, but you told it I in two I different was... places, kind of. Yeah, same line. I I'll, two count different places. I'll count it as the same lie, though. So you technically just told the one lie in that you think his name was Keith and he worked here because some asshole did push you into the mud. Uh huh. I mean, you could technically say he's mud. ugly. Yeah. And you are angry. And I'm very angry. Yeah. And, and my frontier so, is. So you do got to roll me. one deception roll? Uh, you could also do a performance roll to kind of try to convince them to, you know, etc. And, any, and anyone else can obviously also help out with some assistant roles, should they want to, to give advantage, etc. Of course, I would love to see it. I mean, why not? So, okay. uh, does anyone want to do that? Maybe Michael, I'm... maybe Florence. Doris is I'm... way too done. What am I doing? Offing a Corbin, my story. Yeah. Alibi. Yeah, pretty much. Um, do you want to do it? Do that would it. be deception. Only if you tell. Only if you tell it wrong. You can do selective truth telling. Uh, 
gosh, and um, Florence will be assisting um, currently. Okay. I will just do that in, in less. Um, what so you you'll be doing? assisting me? Yeah, I mean, Florence ain't good. It's not a good lie to, uh, to, a lie to uh, telling her the lies. I rolled performance with advantage, yes? Mm-hmm. Total of 25. All right, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. She, they look like, Miss, I'm so absolutely sorry. I will, I will report right away. If you could just wait here for a moment, uh, we, will, we will have someone bring you water, and we will, we will talk to our manager. We will figure out what's going on. I want to talk to the head of HR. The head. I don't know if I can get you the head, Miss. I mean, I will try very hard, but I, I mean, I am, I am just a worker, and... Then I'll go find him myself, and I'll follow him. I follow wherever he goes. M- miss, you, you must wait here. I mean, you simply cannot come back into the, the back areas with, without, you know, the proper clearances. And... Why? I'm covered in mud, and I'm angry. Well, I understand, Miss, but even more so the reason we don't want to... Uh, to have you know the the mess spread, or have you get even angrier? You know, we 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 would we would would like you to try to remain calm and sit still here while we while we get you new clothes, and we will get you the manager, and we will we will find this person, whoever they may be, and ascertain what happened, and and punish them accordingly. <laughs> I want the head of HR. I want the head. I want to go to the top here. I don't want to deal with a manager. Uh, are you going to try to add some roles in here to, you know, push your yes. agenda? What, what are we going to push for here? You want some intimidation? What are we doing? I'd rather try to persuade. Go, okay, go for it. I mean, for this assisting in this chaos ensued, I don't think she gets the Meanwhile, Katharis looks over and he's like, Are we on a boat? <laughs> Lawrence looks quietly towards Cathars like are you hitting me I I I I have to take this because of the fact that it's set up so perfectly Wedge looks around I'm on a boat I got a 20 persuasion I'm on a boat <laughs> My friends are okay. stupid and I'm covered in mud Okay wow I am so oh. terribly sorry I I I will get you I will get you the management. The, not the manager. I want to talk to the head of HR. Okay, I will okay, okay. I'll, get the, I'll get the I'll get the head. I'll get the head. You know, Florence kind of looks at Carly disbelief, like, excuse me, <laughs> like what the fuck? I'm not I'm not stupid. <laughs> you know that. Shh. I can't believe that worked. Oh my god. <laughs> because Florence is helping this shit go along. Because she ain't yeah, gonna do You know, because the first who wants no part in this, you're obviously helping us. You're helping us a lot. <laughs> Look, because she's also, she I'm might also... be helping, but she's not doing anything illegal, technically. That's true. I'm also uh, not... I'm also not doing all the laughing and the talking in real life i'm talking but like like i'm very upset yeah and florence is just playing the role of a very concerned um friend exactly don't hesitate over the word friend florence you're my friend damn it (laughs) um and so as you have this conversation the uh demon uh comes trailing behind this innocent little worker okay god oh yeah Okay. <laughs> and he says, "Okay, hello. My name, as you may and may not know, I'm I'm actually quite famous. I don't know if you know that, but I think I know your name. I think I know it. Oh, really? Um, yes, I think um, it's it's Viren, right? Yes. Yeah, so you have heard of me? I have. Good." And I'm just sitting there sniffing, just kind of wiping my cheeks so, a bit. So, Miss, why don't you come to my office and you will tell me exactly what has gone wrong? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Shut up! 
are, are these are friends. these people with you? Yes, they're my friends. They saw the whole thing. Is this true? He they asked to he asked to everybody else. What well, I mean? Yeah, well, obviously he really looks over. He's like, oh, okay, and then he looks over at them. Is this true? Did you all see this? I mean, yeah. I he pushed me right in the mud. Yeah, I saw her get pushed in the mud. And and what about you? Uh, you know, uh, surprisingly pale person. Oh, uh, yeah. Where he's dumb too, but he's also my friend. I take resentment to that. Not you. Oh. Who's you? Wedge. Wedge? I thought his name was Wedge, he's not dumb. you. Lord. Okay, there's two friends who are dumb as fuck. <laughs> he he just puts his hand on his shoulder. I am so sorry. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. get that a lot. And what about yeah. And suddenly you just notice Donnie has been gone. <laughs> right, there was something there for a moment, but okay. With that said, let's get you all into my office. Would you would would you like to bring uh M C Mickey? Yes. All right. Um, the Mojong's my friend too. All right, come on, little M C Mickey. And I follow. All right. And uh, he takes you to his room, his office, which is actually. Wait, I thought this was. I thought this demon was a girl. Oh yeah, sorry. She is my bad. Well, I mean, some days. <clears throat> Fair. I respect that. I respect her. Them. I respect them. Good use of pronouns. Thank you. So as you come in, he says, "Please sit down." My assistant here will get you a cup of tea or blood or whatever beverage it is that you drink. Just just tea is fine, thank you. I don't drink it. Doris is like, I'll take I some blood. Meanwhile, Floor just kind of looks like, what? I mean, I can understand. Sure, but, you know. That'll be a conversation for later. But, okay. So... I was just walking along from, like, the one over there, I can't remember, I can't even know what it was called, the one on the top left, I think? The building on the top left. I had just gotten out of my, out of my room. The one with the dragon, you know? Yes, yes. And then, and the dragon was super nice, by the way. I think he deserves a raise. Um, but I was walking, and I was wa- I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, please take your time. I was walking, and it was past the top middle boat, like, like half an hour ago, maybe. And, and this ugly man just comes up behind me and just shoves me out of the way and just shoves me to the dirt. And he keeps, he was stinking, and he was ugly, and I think his name had a K in it. I think his name tag, it was like Kevin or Keith or something. And, and he... <laughs> He just shoved me to the ground and just, like, snorted as he saw me just being there, just on the floor. And, <laughs> and he just walked off, and he's, like, he was holding this mop, like, it had shit all over it. And he just knocked me to the ground and didn't even do anything. He didn't help me up or say sorry or anything. Okay. So, currently, I, I only, there's only one lie. I know. Uh -huh. Maybe two, but well. I was. I said I was coming from the top left, which I was. That, that's fine. The the lies all re re revolve around who pushed you down and how. Uh huh. So, for example, you said a stinky guy, etc. Which yeah, this or that. The stinky. name tag being one, and then the two the being the lie. and then the mop. And the what? And the mop. That was a lie too. Okay, and that might, those are my only two I can think of. Really. But that's why I was checking. I was like, God, ah, one or two lies, I think. <laughs> just just on my opinion. Uh -huh. uh, so you'll have to make two different deception rolls. Uh, I will allow one person to help you with one, but the other one cannot be assisted by the same person. 
Okay. So you're gonna have to get somebody else to help you. Are my friends going to help me? I don't know. Friends is a strong word. Are my friends going to help me, Florence and Wedge? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the, uh, brain dead guy. Yeah, sure. You have a brain! As a mummy, do I? Does he? I think he do. No, because hey. I'm pretty sure during the embalming process of a mummy, your brain is liquefied and drained out of you. True, but you got your mind back. It's a ghost brain. To be fair, he's not wrong. Okay. So, since Florence is, is MIA. She also yeah, just had helped with the first one, so, yeah. Oh, Florence had helped with the first one, so that, that... So she wouldn't be able to help me with this one, then. That's what you're saying, then. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, like, just, she, she offered... In the chat, she says that she'd offered to help you, but she can only offer help for the first lie. Only Michael's help for the second lie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't see it in in my chat. Uh, she sent That's it weird. to me. Oh, to you. Okay. Uh, so she'll help me with the Kevin name tag, and is Wedge going to help me with the mop? Sure. Ah! So I get two advantage. Yeah, you get uh, advantage on each roll. Yeah. Okay. Roll well. <sighs> okay. So wait. Part so of the dice. Let's go. It's wisdom for perception, right? Uh. Wisdom, yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes. All right. Okay. I'm back. So the. Okay. Good. Good. I've just gotten to the roll stages. Yeah, and I know I messaged um Axel that I uh, uh, won't let him. Yeah, roll. I just told him. My first roll was it was only a ten, not enough. My second roll. Okay, that's better. Is a total twenty two. Okay. It's a total twenty two. Okay. Okay. So now we're on to the second lie. All right. Thirteen for a total of nineteen. Hey, Boo, can you chill out, please? Excuse me. Thank you. Second roll. I mean, I had to get some good snacks for to watch this good show. What is about to happen? <gasps> oh, Wedge, thank you. It's a twenty-five again. Nineteen plus six is twenty-five. Like I said, enjoying some good snacks while watching this go to into ice. You can't tell me this isn't in this isn't interesting enough to get snacks for. Yeah. This. When I found some stick, uh, some candy and and watching this go to all. Do you have Do you have like a piece of paper? I could draw him. I could draw the guy who pushed me. Does right, she I'm believe me? I'm just checking something that I keep forgetting. I'm scared. The 22 was kind of low, you guys. I'm scared. I thought so. Well, considering the fact that there no, is this is actually for your benefit. Yeah, because the thing does not have a insight plus uh, proficiency. That's good. So, so I'm pretty much you're working with some good numbers. If I remember correctly. Oh, right, it has a plus three to its wisdom. Yeah, my thing I was checking is I couldn't remember uh, if crit rolls affected skill checks, and they don't. Nope, they do not. All that does is determine if it's a tie or whatnot. Yep. The highest roll. Yep, blah, that's, blah, blah. that's pretty much it. Anyway. You critted? You critted. Oh, yeah, I crit on one of them, but you still won. Hopefully not the first one. No, it was the second one. Lucky for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I said, you got lucky. Some of it's luck, some of it's skill. 
and you know, working together helps. Okay, so now here's the thing. Uh, I'm doing this out of character. I feel like you've come in here without any real plan on how you're going to get what you need. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. I can't wait to see it. So he says, that is absolutely awful. I think I know exactly the employee you are talking about, and he has been a problem for a very long time. Sexual harassment, uh, assault on women. He is not a kind person. Uh, were it not for some of the union rules, I would have already gotten rid of him. I promise you. I, I will have this taken care of. I will figure this out. Well, do you have any 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 like paper or something? I could, I could, I could make a statement for you, like write it out and the stuff. Well, oh, I keep some of my personal parchments in my desk. Uh, I can get. Uh, unfortunately, those are usually used for official outings. Um, and I will have to get some other parchment uh, for your statement. Uh, we will have my assistant go do that for us very quickly. Uh, Pathandra! Yes. Yes. Does she go over the table? Yeah. I Let's love see. that. Said, I need you to get me some stationery for this young woman to write her complaints in official notation so we can submit them to the uppermost echelon. As you say, ma'am. And she's off for now. So this could take a minute. There's not a lot of paper in this place. Okay, pause. And for the DM, I have a question, DM. E. Um, does the stationery have, like, a watermark or something? Yeah, it's basically it has a seal. I don't know if you would know that, but that is, that is how uh, custom stationaries and, like, uh official announcements and documentation are put out so okay okay i really i really i just i need to go and i need to take a bath and i need to get out of here is there any way we could just get this done faster i could use your stationery for a minute just like a piece or two well, I guess I don't see why not, but uh, you just give me a moment. I'll need to find the key, open the drawer. Thank you. And uh, he goes back over to here. Okay. And starts to use a key that was wrapped around her neck, sorry, not him, to uh, open the lower drawer, which is under the stove. Where they uh, pull out one, well, two small sheets of uh, paper. They're actually not very big. They're probably about like six by six. Okay. And uh, they come back over with a will and an ink well, as well as the okay. uh, stationery, and they place it on the desk. And they're like, "Here you are, Miss. I, I hope that you can, you know, quickly get this done, and we can have it sorted out." I, uh, I have already also sent Pathandra with a message to find Keith wherever he might be so we can take care of this issue. Thank you. And I take my teacup and I go over to the table where she sat the, the, the paper and I pick up the ink and I pull the paper closer. <laughs> okay. And I start writing and it's nice big writing. But then I go to take a drink of my cup. I, I, I pause writing and I take a drink of my teacup. And then I... And then I... <laughs> oh, you accidentally swap it on. Uh, get it onto your dress, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The cup... The cup... Sleight of hand... I uh, slide of hand... I do some sleight of hand trickery. And I, I drop the cup all over the table and all over myself, but not on the paper and I just scoop up the paper and I hold hold it try to get it away from the tea and I just say this day is the worst and I sit the I sit the, the paper on my lap and bring only one piece back up from the chair where I'm tucked underneath the, the table 
Alright. Oh. oh, okay, so you don't oh, need... I was gonna say you might need to roll a couple things there, like sleight of hand, performance uh -huh. for the, uh... uh -huh. yeah. The worst day and the surprise shock. Yeah. Um, Just a couple. Can Florence assist in any of this, or no? Um... <laughs> how, don't how, think how, you how? can... I think yeah. a little bit on the sleight of hand, and... I may be on the shock. You didn't know she was going to do it, so I don't know if you can, can help her on the shock and the sleight of hand. <laughs> Since she really didn't give you any forewarning for this. Specifically, I want you to try to take the paper off my lap. Yeah. Which will yeah, also be a little bit of sleight of hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately it doesn't look like the original sleight of hand is going to get any help. Or, or the... Okay. Persuasion or whatever. The performance, you said. Performance, yeah. I think it would be performance as opposed to persuasion. Okay. Yeah. What? Performance. My first roll is a seven. So that's not super great. Were my hands shaking or something? Because that was, that was a seven. What the <laughs> hell happened? You didn't have... You didn't have... Uh... You didn't have no Your assistance. Wonderful friend, Florence, helping you. I didn't have. I didn't have a good grip on it. I guess I, this day sucks, and I put my head down on the table. All right, go ahead and roll your. Uh... Bring my lap. Uh, go ahead and roll for your performance. I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! And Florence is just like trying to console this. <laughs> try to help save this madness. Are you trying to console me? Yeah, make it look like you genuinely did not know this shit was gonna happen. So she just... Well, this, the second roll was a 19. Like, this roll right now was a 19. That was without any assistance. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'll go with the 19. So, 26 total. Oops, I clicked it and went away. So, 26 total. Okay. You got lucky. I crit failed both those rolls. Yay! <laughs> so good for you. I just put my head down on my lap. And I'm just shaking my head back and forth. Alright. And, and then... Does Florence take the paper? Meanwhile, Cathars just looks at Wedge and he's like... So... Yeah, no, yeah, no, Florence is gonna assist her, so she, you know. She and I'm, like, trying to cover it with my body as much as I can. Very nice. So, uh, go for the roll. Do you have advantage? Who, me? Is me? Whoever's Sorry, making her. the uh, sleight of hand check. Since you're working in tandem. I mean, I feel I should, because I have a plus seven. <laughs> okay. All right. And plus, I've been rolling really good, so knock on wood. Congrats, you just jinxed it. You're gonna roll that one. No, I knocked on it. It's before I as you said it. <laughs> well, that roll was a two, and a sixteen. Told ya. Well, lucky for you. So a total of twenty-three. All right, you uh, you seem to be able to get it out and under with about too much issues. Okay, so now Florence has the paper. Yep, in her hands, under the table. Her hand. Okay. So um, then, yeah, sorry. Meanwhile, the the demon is like, "Oh goodness, you are you are having an awful day here. Let me help try to clean that up." How does she do that? She's going to grab a towel from the table. Okay, where is she? Is she still at the head of the table? Yeah. Is she facing us anyway? Currently, yes. Not like full on, but at an angle, kind of. Oh, okay. So, kind of like, pretty much actually the way they're sitting. So, alright. So, I'm going to just say, I'm going to just, I'm going to get up. I'm like standing up and I'm leaning over the table. So, like between sort of her and Florence and I'm going to finish writing on the paper and I'm going to like my voice and tears really angrily 
and I'm going to finish writing the paper. Keith, the asshole, pushed me down in the mud. I want him fired at least. Underlined three times. Signed, C. C. Just signed, <laughs> just signed C, I. That's it. Put the paper on the table. Hand it to her. And then I turn and I walk. Since I see them blocking the door on this way, I turn this way and I walk over here. She will follow me with her eyes. And Florence can put the paper away. And I walk this way and this way and this way. And this way and this way and this way and this way and this way. And this way, and I say, thank you for all your help, ma'am. You were very helpful. I'm I'm going back to the room I slept in tonight. Goodbye. And I leave the room. Right. And then I turn, I poke my head back in, and I say, follow me, you guys. God, you're so stupid. I mean, Florence did follow after, you know, making it look absolutely... Absolutely casual that she, you know, you know. She so you're gonna, yeah, you gotta put the paper away before you go. You have to conceal yeah, no. it. Yeah. And, and one would think that's roll. I can't what remember what it was. One second, let me do something that's gosh darn it. What is Are a drama? <laughs> no, I'm serious, I don't know. Oh, you know what would have been helpful? Mm -hmm. Bardic inspiration for you. Probably. Next time. Next time. Next time. But... So, you. So, we do are get done there. without any issues. Uh. Wait, I gotta still look to figure out what you would have to roll to conceal that. Um, I would it, think it, it, sleight of hand, hand. I think, yeah, yeah. They don't have anything so. that's as specific as they used to. So yeah, you it gotta roll a sleight of hand. And I feel like she would have advantage because I'm getting the demon to look the other way. Oh, allow that it. Is, that as well nope. as you know, Ursul. Well, if Ursul flies down there to help. I don't think it's gonna be at. <laughs> I think it's gonna undo. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula's gonna have to stealth down to help. Fall yeah. down her so back. Just, Don't make a move. It would just roll with the advantage. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. It was, an, it was an attempt. It was an attempt. Hey, look, it's always worth a shot. All right, you did well. The the advantage helps, and uh, you're able to like cram it into I don't know a spell pouch or some shit. Uh, yeah, the the devil novel. or demon is like, I am so sorry about Keith. He will absolutely be fired based on his testimony. Uh, maybe even drawn and quartered. Just depends. I, I hope you have a good day. Good. And it goes better than it's been going. Yeah, thank you. It's funny, I swear. I swear. God Let's damn it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. I can't remember. <laughs> and I'm walking really You get fast. about right there and then you hear quack. Where? 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 Did I put? Where? Give me a sec, I gotta zoom in. Where's my little drawn friend? Uh, Mike is, uh, he's coming. Slowly. Okay. Okay. Had the same issue I just had, where the map would not sit still. Yeah. I had that issue. Yeah, that's why I had to refresh. Oh yeah, as Wait, soon as you get to about the middle thing. of the room, you hear a quack. Quack? Oh shit, Where? I think that's Donnie. Where? Oh. I look around for Donnie. Oh, there he is. He's very inconspicuous. He is right on the center of that table, right on the edge of that table. Or stage. Whatever it is. Quack. I go over to him. Hi, Donnie. Quack. Donnie says hello. I can't believe that fucking worked. Like, Tony says he can't either, actually. And I'm still, like, wiping tears off my face. But Donnie says he is somewhat sorry for pushing you in the mud. But it worked very well. Like, Donnie says, 
Shut up, baby. I know it. <laughs> well, you, uh, at least you didn't make um make it be a, a waste. I mean, if I didn't say anything about it, it would be it would be awful. So, well, with, with that being yeah. said, you guys successfully were able to get, uh, what'd you get? Yeah, you know, we, back. Florence. Florence, get the paper. Of course. Give me the paper. Here, no, 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 Florence hands it over to you, Carly, and just says, here, I'm, I told you. you hand it. I'm staying Thank out you, of dear. it. I'm staying out of it. Thank you, dear. And I pat her face, just very gently, and I hand, I hand the paper over to Donnie. Florence kind of gives uh, Carly a an unamused like you really don't patronize me like Tony oh, says okay. the where's the rest of it what rest of it like Tony says that this is this this plan is to give a bunch of people we'll give a bunch of people yeah we got to give a bunch of people pay cut slips and pink slips hmm okay look how just... easy did that look to forge um i mean Black Tony says it looked like you were sweating your balls off. You ain't got none. No, no. No, I'm saying to the DM. Oh, how easy did to the forge. Black yeah. Tony says, uh, I don't know. Well, he, he, he says maybe on a scale of 1 to 20, maybe a 16 or a 17. All right, let's do this. And what's oh, going to walk All right, well, Florence let's go talk to Pam first. We need to get her these anyway. Okay, let's but, go. This part of the job's not done until she got some, and that'll give her time to prepare them for when the plan goes off around three thirty or four. Meanwhile, Florence sighs. I'm not. A, I like. A, I'm just my part of a concerned friend. That's it. Nothing more. Nothing less. What would I have to roll to forge? Persuasion? Performance? I have no Let's idea. See. Um. And do you guys have a forgery kit? Nah, no, no one has a forgery kit. Uh-uh, not even a little. Black. Tony happens to have a forgery. Okay, okay, I can do it. I can do it. So, do I have to do okay, in order to make a fake, take a fake of, um... It's based off it, I'm guessing. Mm. We gotta, we it got would, to it get. It would be a deception. It would be a deception. E. From deception. what I'm reading, it would. From what I'm reading, not bad. Okay, that's a plus six. I can do that. No big. Problem is, you still probably need the tools. Yeah. Much in the yeah. way you need blacksmith tools to do blacksmithing. Yeah. That's easy enough to find. Uh, but, but, the th but the thing is, if you're not proficient in it, you just, it's, you know, you're not. Well, I just, I just need the tools, because my plus, my plus six is already plus six. Right, but if you're not proficient in something, you don't. Uh, get your proficiency your bonus. Yeah, you have yeah. to be, actually be proficient with said tool in order to use said tool. E. Otherwise, it's like giving a fucking monkey a forgery kit and telling it to instantly create <sighs> all this shit. How would I know? How would I know if I'm proficient with a forgery kit? All right, Usually, on your character sheet yeah. under tools, it'll be there. Uh, I've got flute, I've got loot, and I've got lyre. So. Yeah, you're not proficient with a forgery kit. The only ones that are usually proficient with forgery kits are rogues. Ye and even hmm. then, they have to be a certain subclass of it. Yeah, I think it's a or very specific that, thing. Or, um, you know... Or at least picked up the skill at, so skill at some point. Ye okay. You, you can pick up proficiency with things like that through some level growth and adjustment etc but it does have to be done specifically it's not something you probably picked up on accident having said that donnie says we need to go see I don't know what's her name mary martha egda audrin marigold mandy mandy in hr mandy. margaret i don't know mandy in hr mandy. i don't know i just made a complaint with her boss yes she is the one we stole that paper for 
Can she forge more? Well, we're going to see. All right. Let's go see Mandy. Indeed. Meanwhile, Florence is just like thumbs up and then said, yep, and y'all have fun with that. All right. So, uh, HR is Florence over is here. I said, I'm again, why me? You're my friend. Where and is Donnie, HR? Donnie leads the way. It's over here. Well, at least okay. at least Martha's area is. I turn my my old white my soiled white dress. I turn it into a short like above the knee length blue dress, that's clean. And then I pull my hair back in a ponytail, Very so nice. I look a little different. Oh Very yeah. Nice. Oh. And which Florence does help by doing the that whole can not go to digitation. Oh, press the digitation? Yeah. Yeah, uh, so. Yeah, so. Anyway, uh, it seems like uh, Mandy's just sitting in her room or office uh, reading. I knock on the door. Who is it? Um, here with a duck. I see. Mm -hmm. Who are you looking for? Mandy. Who the From fuck Asia? is Mandy? Mard ma um, My name is Pam. Name? Pam. Where's Mandy? Quack. Uh, Donnie says it's Pam. Donnie says what? Yeah, Donnie says it was Pam. Pam. But apparently, I was you wrong. You told me we were looking for a different person. Yeah, apparently, I was wrong. I guess Dumb I mistranslated. Shit. Hey, it's not nice. You pushed me in the mud, you dumb shit. Oh, that was Donnie. Not you. I was talking to a duck. Yeah, but I told you. Not Pam. You. Yes. Pam, I apologize. Yes, there. The duck is a moron. But I'm here looking for you. Why would you be doing that? Well, I'm told from certain sources you look, you're cool. You're like cool. You know? You know? You're like, cool? I, I don't know if I know. Back. Cool, constipated, oh, overweight. Oh, uh, Donnie says, know. three strokes of midnight all hit at sunrise. And she opens the door. Why did she just start with that? I mean... Because I'm a bard. I don't know what I'm talking about. I never know what I'm talking about. Whoever's coming in, come in. Everybody else shut the goddamn door. I don't pay for free heat. In fact, I don't play for any like, heat. You sound just like my father. And I have... I bring Florence in with me. Does anybody else want to go inside? Go inside where? In this room here. Sure, why not? Meanwhile, Florence is like, I'm not paid enough for this. You're not what? paid at all. Well, she's gonna grab Florence and drag, your, drag her in there. <laughs> I swear to gosh. What, I can't, you, seriously. Why am I the one dealing with this? Because you're the mom of the Because you're group. our friend. You're stuck with us. I, like, actually mm. answer much better, and I know it's much more agreeable. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. What did Donnie say to get in here? I believe it was My the... cat is laying on my pen. I believe it was the three say? strokes of midnight all strike at sunrise. The three strikes? Strokes. Three strokes of midnight. Strokes of midnight. Strike at sunrise. Strike at sunrise. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Continue. Back. Okay. Don't don't he said give give her the stuff. I give her. A piece of paper. And I say, I can give you inspiration to make a really excellent forgery of the rest of the paper. Well, we'll see. I'm not much of a forger. I'll have to ask around. The dragon that lives in the room next stairs used to be good at it before he got turned into a room. Yeah, I mean, rooms tend not to be good forgers. Yeah. They do make good forges, though. Anyway, uh, 
We'll take this document and try to make copies of it. It's the best we've got on such short notice. And I mean, unless you're trying to go in there and do that like a hundred more times, I don't think it's a good idea. Does she ever leave her office? Oh, no, man. She's lazy as fuck. What would make her leave? No. Somebody making a complaint made her leave. Well, uh, she really only left to the edge of the office. Even then, oh. she, she could still see the door. Hmm. Also, yeah, I'm very happen. surprised that uh, that happened. That's never happened before. What's never happened before? Uh, for her to come out of that office. She must really be pissed off at Keith. Woman. I'm a very convincing woman. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what it was. Um. So... Like, do you... I, I could give whoever is going to make the forgeries... I could give them... Bardic inspiration. We'll ask you then when, if we need it, when the time comes. For now, I must go and, you know, draft up what I'm going to tell these dumb motherfuckers. Well, adieu. Adieu. I appreciate you. You will stay in contact, hopefully, with Donnie, who will tell you when the next stage of the plan is going to activate. Which, pretty much, the next stage of the plan all takes place all at the same time, so it's going to be really confusing and hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead and leave. Like seriously, okay. get the out of my room. Okay. But thank it's you. Like your bedroom or your office? I thought it was your office. It's both. He lays Do on the table. Do they give you bedrooms now? No. No. They don't even give you bedrooms. No wonder you want to do this. It's not a great place to work. At which point the door closes and locks like eight times. Fair enough. Okay, so now we need the flyer. Indeed. Although before you get a re experience reward. <gasps> Yay! For completing a portion yet? of the hostel. Actually, yes. Everybody should basically have hit the next level by this point. Ooh, I'm level five now. Hooray. Hooray. How do I how do I level up? So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your edit character where your name is, you're gonna click the gear, and you're gonna okay. go manage levels. Manage levels. So and yeah. then you're going to either add a class or you're gonna go up a class level. I'm gonna up a class level. I'm going bard level five. Which your your bardic inspiration goes up to a D eight. Ooh, as well as font of inspiration, which is you be and you pretty much get them back on short rests rather than just long rests. Hell yeah, have fun. Uh, can I change like any of my proficiencies here? No. Mm -mm. But you can change spells out, at least eight. And I get more HP. Yeah. Because I had 33. Mm. I need a dice. I've been rolling from the, from the, um, D, the website. <laughs> Roll 20. No, D&D &D Beyond. I've been rolling through D&D &D Beyond. Mm. Oh, goodness. D8. For my hit points. Mm -hmm. Five. So 33 plus five is 38. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... For the cantrips, I get to pick... One additional... Let's see. How do I want to go about this? Because I know I get... Let's see. Let me... I know I did a thing for that, so I don't mess up. I know I get... Oh, wait! It's 1d8 plus my constitution modifier! Yes. <gasps> okay, so I pick... Two from... My constitution two. modifier's a three! Oh, fuck, man! Uh, 38, 39, 40, 41! I'm at 41 hit points, you guys! 
Nice. Um, but I get do I get to pick more spells? Or do I just get my normal spells? Uh, go to your spells tab and see if you have more add under add spells. She should, because this is where she probably gets her third level spells. I'm getting my third level. Well, it's also a wizard versus a bard. Does not matter. Pal They're full casters. They are the full casters as opposed to like paladins and shit that are half cast. How will I? How will I? I get third. I do get third level spells, you guys. Yeah, I figured. <gasps> Told you. I'm getting polymorph. If that wait, is that a third level spell? Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, you guys are fucked. What? <laughs> what the fuck did you do? I'm no. getting polymorph. No, wait a minute. Poly wait a minute. Polymorph is Yeah, it is a third level bard spell. I yeah. correctly. Dear fucking lord, I better be smart about this. I yeah. better have this. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm, well I'm only like probably gonna affect you if you're low on health. I'm more concerned. How many spells do I get? Oh, I only can learn one spell. Yeah. I can only learn one spell. You gotta get a little higher leveled. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, polymorph's not on here, you guys. Oh, no, wait, sorry. It is not. No, it's It is horrible. a level four, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's I was what I saw. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry I get I got your hopes like that. I was double-checking, like, too, because I went to look at it. I was like... <sighs> It sounds like it's definitely a lower level bard spell as compared to some of the wizard stuff, but it, third level does sound a little early. Yeah. You do have what? some other what? stuff, though, like Major Image and Hypnotic Pattern, which are also very interesting. You also have Tongues. Yeah. yeah. I have Mending. I could learn Mending as a cantrip. Can I change my spells here? As I think I can. As far as I understand it, you can. I don't believe you're limited to a certain set of per known spells, but I've got to double check for bards. Yeah, I think it's when I level up I can change my spells. And now I can change. I can pick one, but I'm trying to pick one. As, um, let's see, I get only two new additional spells. Hmm. Oh, you get only two. I only know one. I only get to know one. I get one for my spell book. I get one for my spell book. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna come over there and bat you on that. Caster <laughs> flight! <laughs> I'm selling booze money. Did you do all your leveling, Michael? I'm gonna take that as a no. I'm thinking about it. Uh, also, you are level 5, but you are not just level five, you should be roughly twelve thousand experience each, more or less. So why am I getting twelve thousand experience? Well, you're not getting it. That's how much you currently have. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, I just want to be clear there. That way, you're not adding twelve on what you already have. I'm. I am currently uh, a milestone kind of leveler. Jeez, why do you have to sass me? Jeez. What did I do to I get sass? Hashtag sassy pants. Um, what does bestow curse? Bestows a curse. Don't it's never mercy. Bestow curse is actually extremely weak, despite how nice it sounds, considering anything who knows remove curse gets rid of it instantly. Well, yeah, but as long as it's not a magic user, it's doubtful it's going to have it. Yeah. To be also, fair, Bestow Curse is actually not very strong anyway because it has a very limited. Uh, it, it they gave its upgrades bad things. They changed the duration of the curse as opposed to the applicable stat changes, which is, I think it would have been better the other way. I do know major image. Let's see. What do I want to go for? Also, having said that, that probably will be the end of the night, since I do know it's about 10.30 for some people. Yeah. But if anyone has anything else they want to tell the stream before I K it. Uh, let's see. Do you think mind players are very intelligent? Yes. 
Carly. 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 Mind flayers are highly intelligent. Carly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you tell Florence that, she'll look at you and say, no way in hell I'm going anywhere near the fucker. I'm not telling you at all. This is hypothetical. Well, just, uh, just for uh, out of table knowledge, or off table knowledge, uh, their base intelligence is usually 19 for a regular mind flayer. Yeah, so, so you to uh, Florence sees that thing, she's gonna look the other way. She's like, nah, I'm not paid enough for that, so. It's probably best that you don't actually look at it. It probably has weird spells with its eyes. That is I think it just has they brain look spells. at magic users and say, oh, that's a snack. Pretty much. Who's snack? Pretty much. Yes, yes, no, no, trust me, this is, there's a story behind this that, um, Truly has to do with an artifact. Uh, you know how I was talking about artificer, artificers uh, earlier? Uh huh. Yeah, no, I think my- I remember dealing with one as one. Long story short, she cut it damn near close of nearly dying to- Well, see, the thing is... Um, your only job... Here you go, buddy. ...is to be my friend. And that's sure. it. You don't- no, you no, don't know no. anything. You don't have to know anything about what comes next. What I'm hearing is just be the enabler of this bullshittery. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it is the way it is, right? Yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine! That's the same as last words. If Florence did not point out that, thing had, uh, that thing had true say, what the hell would have happened? <laughs> We'd have been screwed. <laughs> it would have um, been funny. Is... I don't know what. I don't know exactly what of. Funny as hell. We had to fight, and I don't want to fight. Not yet. Or not for um, that thing. That how wise? How wise do you think a mind flayer is? Or, uh, Carly, uh, Florence, Carly, Carly. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not. Tell I'm not asking you. I'm asking Donnie. What? But it wait a minute. If she's asking that question while Florence is right there, she to look at her and say, I'm sorry, what? The Mind Flayer is the scariest thing I could think of. So, if I'm so, gonna learn something... Mind Flayers? Just a base <laughs> Mind Flayer has a 17 Wisdom score. Yeah, no, they uh, look at... Like, and they are, then on top of that, they also have a 17 Charisma score. Yeah, they're pretty high-level characters. Yeah, they're How are they so charismatic? They're a tentacle face. They're a hentai monster. Well, I'm sorry that your conformist views of beauty don't conform with intelligence. <laughs> That's so, fair. Am I the only one who thinks power is sexy? No, <laughs> 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 Gotta quote future on that, Just because it has a high charisma doesn't mean it has to be pretty. It's true. Hitler had a high charisma. But he was an asshole. He also looked like a human toe. <laughs> Just being honest here. Oh, no. ah! wait, wait a minute, are we off the off of mic? No, this? I probably should kill it. Here we yeah, go. please do before I, we say something that would get you really. All right, we're we're soon switching away from Twitch a little bit. We're gonna be do you be doing YouTube streams here in a while. Oh, oh fine. Yeah. Definitely not monetized.